relief and joy. Back in the arms of her grandmother. When 19-year-old Israeli soldier Ori Megadish was captured by Hamas on October the 7th, her family thought they'd never see her again. But prayers for her return were answered, the first hostage freed by the Israeli army in its ground offensive. Allah Akbar! Ori was kidnapped when Hamas gunmen overran a military base near Gaza, where she was operating as a field observer. In a video posted by Hamas after the terrorist attack, Ori was seen with her hands handcuffed together, standing beside other captured soldiers, all women from the base. Israelis far and near are celebrating her rescue, but they're worried about the fate of the 239 other hostages still being held. Hamas has released a new video of three other civilians they're holding, which the ABC is choosing not to play as it was filmed under duress. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu condemned the Hamas video as psychological propaganda and ruled out peace talks. Calls for a ceasefire are calls for Israel to surrender to Hamas, to surrender to terrorism, to surrender to barbarism. That will not happen. But as one hostage is freed, devastating news for the family of Shani Luk, a German Israeli who was kidnapped at the Nova Music Festival. She was paraded on the back of a truck, naked, as crowds cheered and spat on her. It's been announced that her remains have been found. The Israeli government saying she experienced unfathomable horrors. Israel's soldiers are pushing deeper into Gaza on a mission to rescue the hostages and wipe out Hamas. Tanks and soldiers are advancing on Gaza City from several sides in an apparent effort to cut the strip in half. But this is the human cost. 18-month-old Julia is rushed to hospital. Her sister sees she has survived. She tells the nurses, this is my sister. The wounds may heal, but many are asking, how will these children ever recover from this?